Hi, this is the Professional Amateur Hour coming to you with another review. This week I checked out Steel Dawn. And this 1987 movie was directed by Lance Houle and stars Patrick Swayze, Lisa Naimi, and Bron James, among others of course. The story of this movie takes place in a post-apocalyptic earth where the whole world is a desert now, and this movie follows one warrior or fighter as he kind of travels around the desert doing different things, fighting different people. Ultimately though, he does find this little town that's having some water issues, or at least land right issues with the local warlord. And so he starts working for them, befriends them, and then eventually, you know, starts fighting the warlords for them. What will happen though? Well, you have to watch the movie and find out. Alright, so let's discuss this movie. Well, first we can talk about Patrick Swayze in this one. He does an okay job. He's known for, you know, his kind of romantic roles, and then also some fighting and cheesy roles like Roadhouse. That's primarily where I know him from. But he does, yeah, he does a good job. He does all the, his own fighting scenes and that type of stuff. So all of that works. It's clear that this movie was just using his name. Patrick Swayze, he was like a big sex symbol, I guess, in the 80s and, and early 90s. And so this movie was definitely made for just women to show up and watch Patrick Swayze. They have a whole like romance one that doesn't, at least for me, it didn't seem like it worked out or at least it, it didn't, it didn't seem realistic. Let's say that just for the ladies. Of course, they just want to see him kiss people. So he, that definitely is in there. So yeah, Patrick Swayze does an okay job. Other than that, I think this movie has a cool little world that they've developed in this one. They definitely have put some thought into it for sure. They talk about there was a war or something like that and now all of these old soldiers are walking around the desert trying to make a living even though there's no more wars to fight. And it's pretty interesting how it all kind of works out like they're like oh you're wearing like the vest of some house and they're like yeah I was a soldier for them and now I'm a, an assassin so you know it is what it is. And so they have you know put in that thought process. The main character, Patrick Swayze's character, has like a cool sword. And they talk about how that sword was just for like a specific regiment. And so if you see that sword, you know, they were probably on the same team or whatnot. And so all of it is definitely kind of thought out to, you know, a certain extent that definitely works. So if you're into, you know, post-apocalyptic stuff, this is fine enough. Other than that, the fight scenes work. They're all well done, well choreographed. And again, they're using kind of that post-apocalyptic weapons and stuff. No guns or anything, which I thought was kind of a, a surprise for this world. But yeah, they're all using sticks and poles and swords and halberds and whatnot. So yeah, the fighting is also cool. And that brings me to what doesn't work with this film. Well, with this one, there's nothing really bad about it. You know, it's all shot well, choreographed well, acted well, music's good. It's just like terribly mediocre is the best way I can say it. There's really nothing special with this one. It borrows a lot from other movies as well. All these different plot points. You're like, oh, that's from that movie. That's from that movie. And there's no like gimmick other than Patrick Swayze being in it. There's absolutely no, nothing special about it. No gimmick, no nothing. And so if they had, you know, one kind of unique idea or one standout quality to it, I would definitely probably rate it higher. But as it stands, like it's really nothing special. You've seen it all before. And so it's very, very forgettable that way. I'll also say that. So yeah, it is what it is. Other than that, with this movie, it is like a little bit subversive, but like in the most boring way possible. What I mean by that is they do like set up some things, set up some tropes and story points, but then they just never pay off and never like talked about again. It's so strange how it works. Like you would expect certain things to happen, but no, just, just nothing happens. And so it's kind of a letdown that way. For example, the main character, Patrick Swayze, has a friend and the friend has like a letter to go be a peacekeeper in this small town. And he's like super excited about it. Ultimately, his friend can't make it, but Patrick Swayze does make it to the town. And the town members are excited about this um, peacekeeper that's supposed to come there. But Patrick Swayze just says nothing about it. And you would expect him to like replace the guy because they were like friends in the, in the army and that type of stuff. But no, he just doesn't want to do with it, that, that job. So he just like doesn't mention it. And so things like that, where it's just kind of like a, a something you would expect to happen, but just never pans out. So yeah, it's, it's weird that way. So who would I recommend this film for? Well, of course, if you like that post-apocalyptic stuff, 
And this should be a good watch for you for an hour and a half. It's perfectly fine. It's just a little bit average. So if that sounds like you, then yeah, check it out. As for rating, well, I'll give it the average score of 5. And with that being said, I think that's all I wanted to say. So like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.